what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here's my halloween is in this video here again today now i've been seeing this get talked about online more recently because those of you who watch those megan videos i've done there's only been three so far but megan is expected to have its first look attached to the black phone when it releases in theaters later this month but now also because i did for those of you following me on twitter you know i put out a tweet to some of you saying that you could actually see the black phone on june 15th this month there's some type of investor screening going on with amc which of course you guys can also attend as well and those people in attendance could be getting treated to the first look at halloween ends now a lot of people are thinking this because it's just something that's been sparked online to talk about and speculate on but also because of the fact that today from if i'm remembering correctly actually marks four years since the first trailer for halloween 2018 was released i'm not saying that the trailer is coming out today but some people do think there is now a chance that you could see this footage with the black phone it's release as well not just megan but they could show you the first look at halloween ends some people are also thinking that maybe we'll get a teaser before that or not not a teaser but like a uh a poster or something like that released before before we get to see the footage in theaters if you go out of your way to see the black phone at that investor screening or even just waiting to see it the week after when it releases on the 24th so many different possibilities there but the other thing i wanted to talk about really quick was regarding nick castle who has come out and stated that he will have he basically just went on to give more details about his cameo that we already knew he was going to have in halloween in halloween ends so he said he says that it features him appearing on screen but without the michael myers mask he says that by the way i'm going to be in the new one but i won't be in the mask don't don't tell anybody castle shared in a cameo so I think that's one of those videos you pay for the stars to do a video to you. So he says, you'll see me, you'll see this face. Yes, for the first time on camera, the actual face of Nicholas Castle. Now, some people think, oh, does that mean Michael Myers is going to be a mask again? Michael Myers very well could be on mask again. When this happens, though, I don't think it's going to be with Nick Castle <laughs> in the role, in the costume. That would, of course, be with James New Courtney. When he's saying that he, you're going to see him without the mask, this could be something as brief as a i would say what i'm thinking of like a random character or somebody who might have a small significance to the plot that just shows up and you'll be able to identify hey that's nick castle but he's not going to be unmasked as michael myers if michael myers is unmasked once again which i would imagine he will be that's going to be with james drew courtney in the role it's not going to be with nick castle so of course some people are going to think oh they're going to find a way to put nick castle back in the costume i don't think so considering the height difference between him and james u courtney from what i can recall if i'm correct they're not going to do that uh they're not saying you can't make it work i just think that if you're going to unmask michael myers you're going to use the person who's playing him most of the time in the role and that's james u courtney not nick castle but we'll see what happens there as far as like what his little brief appearance without a mask will be so because i think what he's mostly getting at is how in the past he's been on screen with the mask on in the 2018 movie we know that was him doing the head tilt up in the bedroom with the with the shattered shattered window when laura's pointing the gun we know we know that was him so him saying he's going to be doing this this time without the mask i think just means he's not going to be cameoing as michael myers he's going to be cameoing unmasked as somebody else and a lot of people will pick up on it and say hey that's nick castle kind of like how i i guess you can say stephen king was in it chapter two a lot of people of course say hey that's stephen king he wrote this story it's gonna be something like that that's what i think but in relation to the footage trailer possibly coming with a screening of the black phone of course it's possible june again has been the month that many of us myself included have thought that we will get to see the first trailer teaser for halloween in so we'll see if that ends up being true there are and i'm not saying i'm not saying you need to believe this but there is this page i think it's cine cine leaks or something like that i'll leave a link to them in the description they did say that the trailer is ready and that it could be attached to the black phone uh this account seems to do nothing but put out stuff like that it doesn't mean that it's true so again you can believe that if you want to but i'm not saying it's verified so in relation to that when do you think we will get the trailer or the first footage released online and do you think it's going to be about the same as what we saw at cinemacon i think so so it's going to be a compilation of things that re retread and recap what has happened in the 78 movie 
what happened in the 2018 and kills movie talking about michael myers hyping him up hyping up maybe some stuff about laurie strode and then pushing forward to let us see that kitchen brawl and see what's going on in the kitchen and then put up of course these plug these plug statements oh the end the end of an era or the final battle between michael myers and laurie strode you know all these big selling points the final encounter having them stand off in the teaser i i said this in another video i think before we even got footage they should do something like that to establish this big final feel and hype your movie up as michael myers versus laurie strode that will definitely be a smart thing to do even though we know it's not going to be consistently like that from start to finish there's going to be a lot more to it than just watching a a mainstream final girl big time final girl fight off against a big time horror villain it's not going to be just them fighting, <laughs> but selling it and marketing it like that is obviously a very smart thing to do because people want to see that. So they're going to be even more excited and get anticipated to see this encounter, no matter how brief it is. This When they have their interactions at max, I think you might get six minutes of these two fighting six minutes max <laughs> that's just me and again we'll see how nick castle ends up being factored into the movie with his cameo my in my mind i'm imagining somebody just appearing in the movie who may have a very minor role or some type of significant role that doesn't really also then make them as important as everyone else but it's enough to maybe push the needle forward a bit with the story because what you could do is have him appear and again just like how stephen king was at it chapter two people are going to say hey that's nick castle not everyone again is studying this stuff like those of us online who watch videos like what i do and what other content creators do who do it very well they are going to probably not identify that person but us this is for the diehard fans more than anything if he's not going to be out of out of costume as michael myers I don't see a lot of people identifying Nick Castle saying, hey, that's Nick Castle. Me, people like you, of course, going to recognize him and say, oh, that's that's cool. That's Nick Castle. But we'll see how it ends up happening. We'll see if we get the footage, first teaser, trailer, whatever they want to call it. We'll see if we get a poster today, too. We'll see if anything happens today to recognize, for whatever reason, the four-year anniversary of the first trailer for 2018 dropping. And if next week will be the week we get the first trailer. Again, none of this is confirmed. It's just nice to think about. So we'll see. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You don't miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. If there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.